It is um, morning. My kids aren't here. Sweet Maya just went and picked them up to pick them up from my dad's house. And we are stepping into a few days that are going to be really, really busy. Uh, but I'm doing something fun this morning. I want to bring you guys along with me. Now, my baby sister is getting married this weekend on Saturday. So, obviously, big deal in the family. All our family's coming in. Um, I'm in the wedding and all of that. So, that's kind of going to be the focus of the next few days. However, um, there's something going on this weekend as well. Now, every year for the last couple of years, I've gone to the seed swap at the Faulkner County uh, Library in Conway, Arkansas. And um, it's for a while, I mean, that's where I got a lot of the seeds from my garden. And then last year I took a lot of seeds because I had a lot of extras from the YouTube channel. And uh, they're actually doing the seed swap this Saturday. And so for the first time in a while, I won't be able to attend because it'll be at my sister's wedding. However, I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to share seeds so I, um, I'm actually taking some up there today. Some volunteers are going to be working on stuff and I'm going to go drop off some seeds to be able to share with the local folks that are going to be coming to that. And typically like with seed swaps, um, if you don't have anything that I, I can't speak for everybody, every seed swap I've ever been to, that's completely fine. Uh, people just come and typically just share their seeds with everybody and then get some and they might have some seeds that are reserved specifically for like actually swapping but uh, I, I always get that comment of like well what if I don't have anything come anyway because there will be things that you can get I just want to share my little view here with you guys it's so funny to me because I used to sit here at this window uh, this was like my my little worship spot prayer spot before I had piano here before I had much of anything to look at. I used to have just a chicken coop sitting out here and I would just sit here and I would eat my breakfast sitting here and watching the chickens scratching in the yard and it just, this still blows me away. We got the pigs up here and here's the window greenhouse. And of course, this is all gonna be so lush and full. Did you know that when we cleared the trees out here, I actually asked Maya to leave them thick behind the garden because I loved the dark green backdrop and the wind break and so he did that is pretty awesome it doesn't ever get old I mean I guess it helps that it changes all the time but even if it stayed the same even if it stayed just like this I don't think it would get old <laughs> all right so we need to go downstairs and uh, pack up some seeds to take and leave the house because I'm supposed to be there in about 45 minutes and it'll take me 20 minutes to drive there okay so I actually started to pick these out and wasn't gonna make a video of it and thought let's have some real talk time Okay, so I, fa I failed to water these. They needed to be watered, and um, I didn't I didn't do it. Just forgot to come back down here, and look, I killed some plants. Here's some dried up tomato seeds and dried up yarrows. Uh, most of them are okay, which is good, and we filled this up last night. Basically, there's a just a tiny bit of a tilt on this shelf, so these down here were getting water, and these weren't, and they dried out. So just to make sure that there's no false representation uh, that even gardeners who are having success with a lot of things, uh, they're probably still making mistakes and occasionally killing plants. Um, I've said this before and I will say it again uh, many times. Um, I don't believe anybody has a black thumb. That ide ideology that like somehow we're unable to grow something, that's just... That's silly. Um, you may be negligent and forgetful, which is kind of the case with me sometimes. Um, but my thumb's not a black thumb. Uh, you can have a green thumb. You and your thumb. Uh, you can grow food. You can make to-do lists and put reminders on your phone and take care of your stuff. And if you mess up, uh, like I did right here, uh, my mortgage lifter and big rainbow tomatoes dried up. And I don't want to miss out on having those in the garden, so I'm just going to have to resow them. Um, I'm out a few seeds. A little bit of time kind of stinks. But it is what it is. And stuff like this happening, for me personally, makes me more um, intent on remembering for next time. And so thankfully, I didn't lose that much. I, I thought about it last night that I hadn't checked on them yesterday. And I knew I needed to water them yesterday. Um, 
and I just, I just didn't come down here. I was just really busy. And so Maya actually came down last night right before we went to bed. And he was like, yeah, some of your seedlings shriveled up, but I watered them. It is what it is. Okay, so I've got um, several seed packets here and just baggies and stuff. And I don't have like a real method that I'm going through here. I've already pulled out most of what I'm wanting to plant this year. And so right now going through these, I'm just grabbing things that I see that I have doubles of. I have a lot of seeds because people send me a lot of seeds and a lot of times like people will send me like a whole bag full of saved seeds and what I'll do is just like take an envelope and take out as many as I think I'll probably be able to grow within the next few years and then I just pass the rest of those on because I have such an opportunity to share. Um, I, it is difficult because we do get a lot of requests for people wanting us to send them seeds and my big resource that I have a very limited amount of is time. And so being able to separate things out and go to the post office and all that stuff, that's difficult. So I love finding opportunities like this where I can just take a bunch of seeds with me and give them away because I love to share, um, but I don't really have the time to do it as much as I wish that I could. All right, time to go drop off some seed packets. Now, some of these are just full packets that have never been opened. Some of these are baggies of seeds that have been saved. Uh, some of these are like closeouts, you know, like that I've had for a little while now, but I still grow some seeds out of them and they work fine. Um, random stuff that I had doubles of that I don't know that I'm gonna grow them in time because I had like multiple packets of the same variety. So it's just extra sharing the love. All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we gotta go. I know a lot of you guys are past the stage of having like little kids with you all the time, um, but I'm not, still very much in it. And so when I'm by myself, I don't have my children and I've gotta be somewhere, I've gotta get ready, gotta leave. It is so foreign, it is such a foreign thing. I'm sitting here like, I'm forgetting something. I can't, I've double checked a hundred times because I've got my, my bag and my keys and my phone and my seeds and I just keep being like, okay, where's everything else? <laughs> This is it, it's just me. So I just pulled up to the library. Um, kind of funny story, the guy that I'm meeting here today who's helping organize the seed swap. Uh, several months ago, I was in a local grocery store, Kroger, and um, somebody said, hey, are you the YouTube garden girl? And I was like, yeah, so you know, this pretty normal thing happens. But uh, he was like, I can't believe I'm meeting you. I just moved here less than two weeks ago from California and um, I, I've watched your videos and I, I knew that you lived in Arkansas, but I didn't, I had no idea that I was like moving into your town. And it's just kind of a funny thing that I ended up running into this guy and he was real into like the urban farming scene in California where he was and then he moved here and is obviously getting very into it here. So I'm about to go in and meet him and drop these seeds off with him and his name's Eric. So I, uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for him when I get in here. So here's Eric, who is a friend that I made in Kroger several months ago. <laughs> and uh, I saw him posting about working up here and thought, hey, let me bring some seeds. So you want to tell us what you're doing right now? So right now we're, uh, we're prepping for the seed swab. So we have all these duplicate uh, packs right here. We're going to take these out for the people to look through. And then these packs right here will go back into our seed library. And then that way we'll have a stock for stuff to grow out and then save the seeds and then put back in there and uh, awesome. you know it's pretty easy stuff this is really cool give me lots of good stuff for people to get yeah that's amy this is eric's wife what are you working on um we're just packing these seeds and i'm just adding a few things that we didn't put on the label just the if the seed was isolated or not and stuff like that awesome the, so these are for the library this is yes. what goes into uh -huh. the mm -hmm. stores yep awesome yep it just has all the information that, that comes on the seed packet Here's Miss Ann cataloging the seats that I brought in. Alright, they've got a bunch of seeds back here that they've started for the farm project. <laughs> nope, didn't turn it on. <laughs> the professionalism behind Roots and Refuge is mind blowing. <laughs> hey guys, I want to introduce you to somebody who I've known for a couple years um, because being involved in the 
urban food movement here in central Arkansas, you're going to know this guy. Uh, this is Zach. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what they're doing, what they're involved in, and how you can get involved with it. Yes, okay, so I'm also I'm at Bell Urban Farm. Uh, today we're here at the Urban Farm Project at the Faulkner County Library. Uh, this entity organization has been around for 10 years. This is our 10th year. Um, we have a seed swap coming up this weekend, Saturday, February 29th, 11 to 1 p.m., and uh, this will be our 11th annual seed swap. Awesome. So we were the second seed swap in Arkansas, formalized seed swap. The first one was in 2008 in Mountain View. That next year, 2009, uh, Conway and Mountain View had one. So it's pretty pretty awesome to know yeah. that we have this tradition. And I think when you start talking about urban farming and things like that, when you start talking about 10 years, uh, you start to develop a culture. Yeah. And so that's uh, um, this is my third, fourth week here at the Urban Farm Project as the garden programmer, as awesome. an employee of the library. And my mission really, like, I want to just extend that culture and let people know that this is a culture, this is a lifestyle, and so many people have worked so hard to develop this over the years, so many volunteer hours. We have right now eight people yeah. uh, volunteering here, getting seeds ready. Um, Steve from Conway Locally Grown, Eric and his wife Amy and their daughter from Paradise, California. They have a decade of experience in seed libraries awesome. as well. So we're tapping into their knowledge and yeah. So for just like a local gardener that wants to take part in any part of this process, what do they do? So first thing, just shoot me an email, Zach at Faulkner County Library, that's Z-A-C-K at F-C-L dot O-R-G, and uh, I'll get you organized as far as coming on a volunteer work day. We do Thursdays right now. We're doing Thursdays from 5 to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 5 to 7 p.m. Now, um, aside from what you're doing here, I met you guys on a personal level, you and your beautiful wife doing your own personal farming efforts. Yes. Do you guys have a website or something? Because I know you have a plant sale yeah. coming up oh, yeah. and all these things. Mm -hmm. Can can we share that? Yeah, you bet. Uh, we're bellurbanfarm.com. Okay. Uh, we also, my wife runs all of that. Uh, she's also on facebook.com slash bellurbanfarm. Um, always stays up to date on there with that with Bell cool. Farm and the website she keeps up. I'll put all these links and email addresses down below so you guys can reach yeah. them. And she's doing a Kickstarter right now for her farm stand. Which is and so exciting. Yeah it's really cool so if you uh, just get on our Facebook or our website uh, you'll see a link to uh, if you feel inclined to donate to yeah. them. So uh, yeah. with the farm stand my understanding is I mean we're looking at like the possibility of like an all local kind of grocery store type thing. Correct. That yes. is thrilling yeah to me. I think that uh, that sourcing which Kim is really good at and I mean like her heart has always been in it that's what attracted me to her and I think people to develop that trust that knows when they go to the farm stand they're getting local yeah organic food sourced by Kim yeah awesome well you guys please check out these wonderful people and the things that they're getting behind it's amazing and I think it's really gonna just impact the culture of our community thank you, yeah, thank you. I'm back home now and I've got some things to get to work on. I did want to go ahead and wrap up though about the seed swap if you are local. It is from 11 to 1 at the Faulkner County Library this coming Saturday, February 29th. Um, and I implore you guys if you are local to definitely go check that out because it's a really awesome resource not only to get seeds for your garden but to connect with some other passionate gardeners in the area. So thank you guys uh, for hanging out with me today. I bless you. Until next time.